guys, my name is Elena and I'm a graphic designer and this is my channel for beginners in Adobe Illustrator. And this is my free course which is called Adobe Illustrator from zero to beginner. And this is the fourth tutorial. If you didn't watch the previous tutorials, please start from the first tutorial. The link will be here and the links to other tutorials will be under this video. And now let's start the fourth tutorial. Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. In this tutorial, guys, I'm gonna talk with you about uh, shortcuts, hotkeys and options and actions what will help you to make your work in Adobe Illustrator more easier and faster. Ok guys, uh, to start our tutorial we need to create some shapes and the first hotkey is Shift. Select Rectangle tool and hold Shift. When you are holding Shift, you can create the perfect square or the perfect ellipse. So, this is our square. And now select Ellipse and hold Shift. And this is our perfect round. If you wouldn't hold shift, then it will be very difficult to create the perfect square or the perfect round. And one more thing, when you need hold the shift. Uh, when you want to make your object bigger or smaller and if you want to save your proportions, uh, when you need to hold shift. Uh, for example, hold shift and make our ellipse bigger or smaller. And now I wouldn't hold shift. Like this it will be already not perfect round and it will be very very bad ellipse. Ok guys, now let's talk about the most important shortcuts. And the first important shortcut is copy and paste. It's very often using shortcut. So select our object. Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Ok, our object is copy and paste now. The next very important shortcut is copy and paste in front. So select our object and Ctrl C, Ctrl F and Select other color, for example this, and move this object, for example, to the left. Ok, this is our first object and this is our copy. Delete this and delete this. And the next very important shortcut is undo action. For example, you delete the copies and you want to back them. And you need to press Ctrl Z. And uh, you need to move back pink ellipse again. Ctrl Z. Ok, it's very useful and very helpful action. Ok, now you need to redo action. For example, uh, you don't want this uh, pink object, so you need to push 
uh, you need to press shift control z okay and your pink object your pink ellipse is off the next very useful shortcut is select all you need to press ctrl and a okay all your objects in your illustration are selected and it's very very helpful good uh, now very very helpful shortcut is zoom in and zoom out hold ctrl and press plus It will be zoom in and hold control and press minus. It will be zoom out. And the same way you can hold out and scroll mouse wheel closer to your computer. It will be zoom in. And if you will scroll the mouse wheel closer to you, it will be zoom out. Now I want to talk about a few about very useful thing, and this is right button of the mouse. With the help of right button of the mouse, you can make a lot of useful actions. Uh, so, for example, select it. Select the object. Now press the right button of the mouse. And you see here very many useful options for you as for designer. So uh, you can group object, you can make clipping mask, you can transform, move, rotate, reflect, uh, you can change the scale. Uh, you can bring into front object, bring forward, send backward, send back, and it's very, very uh, often using uh, options and actions in your work. Some words about grouping objects. Let's create the copy of our rectangle. Uh, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Move it here. Let it be pink. Uh, you can select objects and select the group and your objects are grouped and you can select them and ungroup okay but we have very useful shortcut and this is ctrl g select both objects and ctrl G. Okay. And our objects are grouped. And I think it's very useful and uh, more easier than press um, right button of the mouse, but it's your choice how to work. Uh, you can uh, do it with the help of right button of the mouse or you can do it with the help of shortcut. What can you do more with help of uh, right button of the mouse? You can create clipping mask. Select clipping mask. Okay. It's very useful option and action. So it's uh, more comfortable to use it here when go to object and clipping mask and make. It will be uh, more difficult, I think. And of course, when you select this clipping mask, you can release clipping mask. And this object you can make again this color. And one more thing I want to show you is it's about the type tool. Select type tool. Okay, this is our uh, text, the common text for the um, illustrator. 
So let's write, for example, I like you. Okay. This is, uh, for example, our text and this is our design. And when you need to send the, your design with the text to your customer or you want to sell your designs online, you need to create outlines. Why you need to create outlines? If you stay your text like this, uh, when if customer or your buyer uh, open your design uh, in his computer, this text can be looks not like in your design. It's because of your customer or your buyer may not have uh, this font on his computer. So if he open uh, their de your design on his computer and he don't have the font like in your design, uh, your, design your design wouldn't look uh, cool and your customer may not like your design and it will be bad for your designer reputation. So always create outlines. Uh, you need to press right button all the mouse and select create outlines. Okay, now your font, now your text is not the text, now it's the vector illustration. So now your design will be always looks like this and your customer will be happy. But of course, if your customer asks you not create outlines, you can do it. But if not, please always create outlines. It's a very, very important thing. This is the most important shortcuts in my opinion. And you'll find this list on my Facebook page. The link will be under this video. Guys, Adobe Illustrator has a lot of shortcuts and hotkeys and you can find all of them on the official site of Adobe Illustrator. It's adobe.com. Uh, I the link you will find under my video. So you see here's a lot of shortcuts shortcuts and hotkeys and you can use it in your work okay guys our fourth tutorial is over and in the next time will be our last tutorial from my course and they are going to create this illustration and if you're interested please come and learn See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.